Hi, it's Jennifer with Clear Scraps, and I'm here to do another Heart Memory Dex card with you. Like the last one, I'm going to color my acrylic using alcohol ink. This time, I chose a nice light pink. Now, since this is for Valentine's Day, I am going to stick with traditional colors, but keep in mind you can use any color that you like. For this card, you're going to apply your alcohol ink to the entire card, not leaving any spaces. So remember, you can go as light or as dark as possible. The alcohol ink does dry fairly quickly. So after I'm done, I'm going to set this aside and I'll see you on the next video. Since so I'm done, awesome. Now that my alcohol ink is dry, I'm going to use the 4x6 butterfly flock stencil. And I'm going to secure it with my painter's tape. Now you like to use painter's tape instead of washi tape or any other tape just because I feel like it's more secure. So I'm going to apply it to my sides and top and bottom. There we go. And next I'm going to get out my modeling paste. It's Teresa Collins. I've had it in my stash forever. I love it and use a spatula and I'm going to apply it in just a downward motion like this. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. Usually my mixed media is not perfect, but that's okay. Um, just try to fill in the spaces as much as you can, keeping um, a thin layer and going in one direction is helpful. I try to scrape up any excess you can see that I'm doing here and use it to fill in any extra holes. Again, it does not have to be perfect. Um, I love using the mat, the masking stencils. Clear Scraps has a ton of them. Um, they're great to use on acrylic or chipboard, really anything, home decor. Just need a little bit extra here. And the nice thing is that modeling paste does dry quickly. Um, you can even use your heating tool just to set this pretty quickly. And I'll see you on the next video. Now that my modeling paste is dry, I've cleaned off my stencil and I'm gonna lay it over my modeling paste, as you can see here. And again, I'm going to use some tape to secure my um, my stencil again just so that I have everything lined up now taking distressed oxide inks I'm going to color my modeling paste using some blending brushes again it doesn't have to be perfect it's fun to kind of just play around with the different colors and blend them um, I'm using pink and then my next color on the bottom is going to be um, a nice blue something to match the paper that I'm using again you can use any colors that you prefer and just blend until you're happy and there you go. Lastly, we're going to add some paper and a little bit of embellishments. Here you can see the end result here of the um, Distress Oxide ink. Here's a um, some paper that I already measured out and stitched. I love my sewing machine. Um, I'm going to ahead and, and apply it with my Beacon 3-in-1. Uh, Beacon works great. Anything that is um, that dries quickly, well, it won't warp the acrylic. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the back of my paper here. And then apply it to the center of my card. Which you don't have to actually, if you don't want to add paper, because it does actually cover up a lot of the stencil. And then I have a couple little embellishments here that I'm going to add. Um, first is a little journaling tag. This is the same Simple Stories line that I used in the first 
on the first card. And then another little journaling spot. I love to layer, as you can tell. Sometimes I'll use my Tombow roller, but for um, efficiency, I'm using my beacon. And then here's a little, another little journaling tag. It's a little love note. So these memory decks cards are great for pictures or journaling. Um, you can stamp sayings on them. There's so many endless possibilities. And then there's a little um, candy heart here that I, I popped up um, that I'm gonna put right here. And then I have a little bit of uh, baker's twine that I'm gonna wrap around and create a little bow. And it's gonna take me a little bit. You have to excuse my, um, my dental hygiene hands. I'm having problems with my hands right now. <laughs> That's what 30 years of dental hygiene will do to you. So I knotted it and then I'm gonna attempt to do a bow. And I'll have to try again. There we go. So adding Baker's twine is a nice little accent. And my card's finished. Thanks for watching.